Hi everyone, thanks for watching this week's video. Okay, so this week we're making spaghetti and meatballs. Um, I'm very lucky this week though because um, I've got another chef in the kitchen with me this week. I've got my son, Stephen Aikman. Yes. Uh, so say hi. Hi. Um, okay, so spaghetti and meatballs is actually one of our favourites, isn't it Stephen? Yep. Yeah, so we've got this great recipe that we want to share with you today. Um, so I think we'll just get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is make up our meatball mix, okay? So we'll start off with um, 100 grams of beef mint, straight in the bowl, so, okay, yeah. so, that's it, good. And we've got 100 grams of pork, pork mint, straight in with that, so, good. And we've got one egg yolk, straight in with that, good. And we've got one uh, clove of garlic, which I've just finely chopped and crushed, we'll go straight in with that. Just get your hands in there. There we go. That's fine. Okay, and we've also got about uh, 10 grams of not the whole thing. 10 grams of grated Parmesan cheese. All the cheese, yeah. This is about 10 grams. This is about 10 grams of the fresh Parmesan. Um, uh, we've got some breadcrumbs here. We'll, 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 we'll maybe put the breadcrumbs in last. We may put in some salt and pepper first. So a bit of salt. Uh, salt first. Yeah. Maybe, maybe a little bit more, a little bit more salt, yeah. Okay, and some pepper, yeah. Yeah. That's it. Lovely. And we'll just maybe put in maybe, maybe half of the breadcrumbs for now. Just maybe pour, yeah, no, lift the bowl up. And just put half of the, half the, yeah, let's see. You don't want to put too much breadcrumbs in, it just depends on the, Depends on the fat content of the, um, we've got a little bit more, yeah, that's it. Uh, depends on the fat content in the mint, or how much, uh, how much breadcrumbs you put in. Because otherwise, if you put too much breadcrumbs in, it can go, can go quite dry. Okay, so that's our, our meatball mix made. So now we're now going to roll our meatballs out, okay? Okay, so now we're just going to roll our meatballs out. Okay, so we just grab some, some of the meat mix and put the hands and roll out. I think you've actually got better size hands for this, Stephen, because your hands are nice and small. Um, yeah, that's okay. Maybe do it a little bit bigger. Maybe a little bit bigger than that. Maybe about, maybe about this size. Just like that. Okay? Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Okay? Okay, perfect. So now what we'll do is we'll put these, we'll cover these up, and we'll put them in the fridge just to set for an hour, and then we'll get our sauce on the go now. Okay. So now we're going to get our sauce on the go. So get your pan on, get it going quite hot, and we'll go in first with some extra virgin olive oil. Then we've got here we've got about a quarter of a white onion that's been finely diced. Just stir that. I've also got um, two cloves of garlic, which have been finely chopped. Okay, I'm just going to gently fry this for about two minutes. Okay, so once the um, the onions have been cooking uh, for about two minutes and they've started to soften, we're now going to go in with our sieved tomatoes. We've got some Italian sieved tomatoes here. Um, about 500 grams, just straight in with that. And to that I'm going to add uh, one chicken stock cube here, so I'm just going to crumble that up. This will actually help season the sauce, so you won't really need to add, you shouldn't need to add any salt. Okay. 
Then just um, it's a splash of water as well. Then what I'll do is, at the very end, I'll add some fresh basil at the very end. So we're going to cook this out for about 20 minutes. Okay, so our sauce has been cooking down now for about 20 minutes. So I'm just going to just going to finish that off with some fresh basil. I'm just going to put them put those straight in there. Um, that's going to give the sauce a nice flavour. And now we can start cooking our meatballs. Okay, so for the meatballs, if just get a pan on, uh, get it on the heat, get it nice and hot. And we'll go in first with uh, a little bit of uh, olive oil. And we're just going to start browning our meatballs. So, shit in. Just uh, be careful when you're placing these in. Okay, so once our meatballs start taking on a bit of colour, we can start turning them over. Okay, so once our meatballs have got a nice kind of even colour on them, I'm just going to turn the heat down and we're going to go in with our tomato sauce. Uh, I'm probably not going to use all this sauce, quite a lot here. So I'm just going to turn the heat down and I'm just going to put a lid on this and I'm going to let it cook for about 10 minutes. Okay, so our meatballs are just a few minutes away, so uh, now we can start cooking our pasta. Okay, so for the pasta I'm using um, a fresh egg spaghetti here. Um, you don't have to use fresh egg spaghetti, you can use dried spaghetti if you like. Um, I quite like this though, and it's, it cooks a lot quicker than dried spaghetti. This will be cooked in about four or five minutes. So, um, get your water on, uh, get it boiling. Just go in with some salt. And we'll cook this for about four or five minutes. Okay, so our spaghetti has been cooking now for about four minutes. So I'm actually going to take it off now and strain it before it goes into the sauce because um, it actually keeps cooking when it's still hot so we'll just get this off and get it strained okay so straight in with the pasta Okay, so now we're ready to play up. Okay, so now we can just go in with our spaghetti first. You just want to put some grated uh, cheese on this, Steve. Just get, just get a little bit of cheese on top. Okay. That's perfect. Beautiful. Okay. We'll just finish it off with a little bit of fresh basil. And that is it. Oh, 
Okay, so thanks everyone for watching our video this week. We really hope you enjoyed it. And please, please give this a go. Um, if you are liking uh, my videos, please give me the thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you all again soon. Thank you.